What is going on, YouTube? This is how fast is coming back with another badass video. All right, we're gonna get right into it. Um, so you want to learn how to kite? This is the best place you can go to learn how to do that. Um, so we're gonna start off by uh, a couple of essentials that you're gonna need. Um, you're gonna need uh, a CC break immunity. Obviously, you're not gonna really be able to kite without it. Um, that's the probably the most important thing here so I use forward momentum if you're not using that then I guess you could uh, you know um, magic of dragon knight Scott mister well the wings uh, give you a CC immunity for what two seconds now so I guess that works um, now the Stam warden is currently the best class to kite with uh, just because of its tankiness it's uh, ability to get out of sticky situations and it has one of the highest bursts uh, in the game if you use it correctly uh, so if you see here I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down um, so it's simplified so when you get on ESO you can find a really uh, shitty group of people and you can you can try it uh, for yourself but as you can see that my stamina is starting to deplete because I was uh, trying to take this castle with a couple of uh, well obvious noobs you know <laughs> I'm saying let these guys kill you <laughs> but anyway I tried to take the castle with those guys and uh, they didn't they didn't know what they were doing obviously like they, they couldn't get on the flags or maybe they forgot how their controller worked and they got killed by a couple of these EP newbies but um, as you can see I just keep running around uh, these walls until my stamina comes back um, you always want to try to stay on your buff bar for like as long as you can like uh, don't run around on you know your front bar where you have not as much resistances I guess because every piece of, uh, of resistance counts now every time you go offensive you've seen how I did that I went offensive and as soon as I did that my health dropped so you want to try to stay as defensive as possible and use the walls to your advantage. Um, on PlayStation 4, uh, it's really easy to kite because when you go around a corner and you come back um, on PC, uh, the mouse allows your uh, your view to snap like that. You know what I mean? Snap from this angle to that angle. On PlayStation, on the other hand, uh, it takes a minute because it's a little bit of a slower process for them to turn around. So if you go around a corner uh, and they're following you and then you go right back around that same corner, it's going to be hard for them to uh, to line up. Like they'll have to, you know, push their camera over to get to you again. Every second that they're not hitting you is a second that you're getting your resources back and that's really important. You want to try to keep all your resources at least on the mid level just in case you do need them um, or sometimes this will happen the game will glitch out and you'll get CC twice in a row that you have to break out of or something like that but you always want to keep it um, another really I think important part of trying to kite people is uh, this spell wall that I'm using this spell wall is probably one of the most OP uh, alts that you can get in this game um, you want to try to have a skill that you can stop projectiles uh, and uh, the pots that I use uh, lingering health so you don't have to constantly hit your uh, resolving vigor for stamina characters um, not having to hit that every five seconds it does great things for your stamina um, if I were to have to hit that during making this video every five seconds uh, I don't think that I would have been able to do that but as you can see I'm keeping on all my other buffs the only time I swap over to my uh, my attack bar is if I'm actually getting ready to attack, and if it doesn't work, I swap right back over to my defensive, put my buffs back up as I'm going around the corners. <clears throat> I try to get a couple of heavy attacks in there, uh, and you just keep doing that until pretty much they forget about their uh, their buffs. That's that's the whole point of kiting people, is they're so fixated on trying to kill you uh, they forget about their buffs and they go completely offensive uh, and with the stand warden it's really easy to turn around and then hit them with a really big burst and then on top of it like uh, yeah the stamina warden's abilities don't only hit one person at a time um, three moves that you use which is the heavy attack when the two-hander hits more than one person uh, you got the Dawnbreaker, so it hits more than one person, and the Subterranean, it hits more than one person. 
<clears throat> now you seen there that I had almost gotten caught up up here on the staircase. This guy's using his alt or whatever. Um, soothing spores. I guess that brings me to another one. If you're if you don't have a uh, an insta heal, something that'll give you a lot of uh, of health really fast, then you need to use. Um, what is that rally I do believe I don't use that skill just because of the uh, the soothing spores that the uh, stamina warden has is extremely overpowered but uh just keep watching the video and, and like I said like it's really easy anybody can get it down just have the right pots um, right poisons there's a couple of poisons that'll help you out during this uh, sorry I was gonna burp <coughs> you could use a um, what is that poison called it's a, it's a double dot poison, and then on top of the double dots, as it does damage, it replenishes uh, your health. So it does the same thing. I think time limit on the double dot is cut in half, but it still gives you about 2,000 health on top, and it gives you about 1,600 health on the bottom. So every time you hit someone, you're getting... Well, you got a 20% chance to get uh, 3,600 health back, so that helps. Because, uh, especially if you want to learn how to kite, then you need to have just as many defensive abilities than you do offensive abilities. So don't uh, think you're going to be the kite god if, you know, on your back bar you got a bow. Um, I mean, I guess Stam, Stam Sorg, you could roll dodge all over the place. It'd be hard for people to hit you. And uh, Nightblade as well. But um, if you're going with the more tankier, you know, gameplay like I am, then... You're going to need those defensive abilities, uh, a lot of them at that, so don't, you know, have five offensive abilities and then have two more on the back bar and only have three defensive abilities because then you're just kind of like selling yourself short. It's going to be a lot harder for you to be able to do it, and then you're going to have to find a really, a really shitty group of people because if you don't, they're, they're, they're going to murder you. Um, these guys were decent. They weren't super bad. <laughs> Um, so this guy right here he does pretty decent damage but as you can see I just wait until you know the people start I start killing them one by one and it will get easier and every time you kill someone just know that it got easier because that's what it did it got easier um, that's one less person that's throwing a bunch of stuff at you so if you could sit there and um, and kill all those people uh, then know that if there's like two more people left or whatever that you could probably just uh, stay going offensively uh, but as you know I seen that other guy's getting ready to come up the staircase what did I do I swapped over to my buff bar started to get my buffs up tried to heavy attack a little bit get my stamina back up <laughs> and then I you know you gotta get down you know hit the rally boom or not rally vigor my bad but anyway uh, just keep watching the video, guys, and uh, tell me what you think. Uh, Kiting's super easy, not not hard to do at all. Uh, did I cover everything? Oh, yeah. If you don't want to use the lingering health pot, you can use the um, the immovable pot too, because I that would that would really help with not having to uh, uh, use your CC immunity break. But I mean, you still want to use it anyway because it's a hot. You know what I mean? So you want to have as many hots going as possible. But yeah, I think that that's about it. Just make sure you keep your buffs up. Use walls to an advantage. Don't run around on your front bar. Stay on the defensive bar all the time. Always have your buffs up. And wait until they forget about your buffs, pretty much. That's, that's literally all you have to do. Super easy. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys have any questions, concerns, uh, whatchamacallits, blah, blah, blah. Don't forget to, uh, you know, there is a comment box, and I do reply uh, every hour or so. I'll check it. You guys have fun playing uh, uh, ESO Lag Fest. I heard that there is a Lag Fest going on right now, so that's good. Anyway, you guys have a good day. Finish watching it, and uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to clarify that I did kill all these guys, so throwing that out. Alright, now I'll talk to you guys later.